It is now easier to get schematics inside of tier 3. I feel like I say this almost every week because it feels like they update the game and there's brand new methods and you guys seem to really enjoy these videos so I try to release the most improved version of the strategies to do to go inside of tier 3 and unlock those schematics. I'll be going over the weapon, ammo mods, things to do that have come out with the brand new update to essentially grind out these way better. So if you do like the video then definitely be sure to drop a like on it as that does help out the spread of it and just overall does show me that you guys do like the video and also be sure to subscribe we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers so I would very much appreciate that. First thing is First, what weapon do you want to use inside of tier 3? Well, there's two different things. Your fists, or you could run around with the brand new, in my opinion, best weapon inside of Mono for Zombies called the Lockwood 680, but you can also run around with whatever you want. One thing that I need to point out that I forget is you can do whatever you want to grind these things out. I just want to point you towards the right direction. So if there's something that you prefer more, then definitely be sure to use that. But the Lockwood 680 is, in my opinion, a beast inside of the game. And the attachments that I recommend for you to use is for the muzzle, use the Crown Breaker Choke. For the barrel, you want to use the Lockwood Defender barrel which is the last one then the 12 gauge slug ammunition for the stock the sawed off mod and lastly for the bolt you want to use the express light bolt all of these attachments together are actually insane and the most important thing is those slugs because when you aim downside the shotgun essentially becomes a sniper rifle now i like to hop into the game with purple rarity or gold rarity on the shotgun these are probably the best ones to go inside of tier 3 so if you don't have that then definitely be sure to run around grind out a bit and then definitely have at least pack a punch two on the shotgun it will definitely make a difference the other option for using a weapon is your fists if you don't know running around with fists is probably one of the best methods inside of tier 3 because you're super fast and then you get to outrun the zombies you do also need a collection of certain perks to make your life easier like stamina up quick revive jug and speed cola just because all these together will make you reloading faster regain health faster obviously have more health and lastly be able to run around faster so all of these are definitely Definitely essentials in my opinion now one thing that got added with the brand new update that i think really makes this strategy a bit better is snowballs snowballs are actually kind of pretty good inside of tier 3 because they will always be stunning zombies and specifically stunning those damn dogs and making them fall over so if you do end up wanting to use them i do really recommend it i know explosives are really good but running around with the snowballs will actually get you out of some certain sticky situations like for example you have dogs running after you you reload your gun you can instantly turn around throw a snowball at a dog or a zombie and then make them go away now another thing that i really recommend for you to have is brain rot brain rot is an insane ammo mod and i will be covering it in a future video because it is so good inside of tier 3 it will be getting you out of so many sticky situations it's actually insane now for the contracts which ones do you want to complete honestly it doesn't really matter the only one that i would never tell you to complete is the escort mission because that is really difficult to control inside of solo if you are planning to hop in solo if you do want to actually have players to play with we do have a discord server linked down in the description so definitely be sure to check it out there's like thousands of people on there that will 100 be welcome to helping you out if you do need it but going back to what contracts to complete for the escort mission itself it's actually pretty good because if you do accept it and cancel it a very 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 high possibility of spawning in the cargo mission which is 100 the best option and then on top of that you can complete the egg one which is actually pretty easy to complete all you have to do is run around you can complete bounties which can sometimes cause an issue sometimes you can get an abomination or maybe even two abominations together which i do recommend for you to abandon that challenge there's no point wasting your time on a contract that will just take too much time because you do only have a certain amount of time inside of a game also on top of this a lot of people have been reporting that getting schematics is better now inside of the game personally haven't really noticed the difference it still feels the exact same way and remember there are only a certain amount of contracts that you can get inside of tier 3 and the ones that you can get is the ray gun schematic obviously weapon cases which aren't schematics but if you do want to get a ray gun weapon case you can get inside of there tombstone schematic elemental pop schematic purple ether tool schematic and lastly pack a punch level 2 schematic so those are the only contracts you can get inside of those regions and lastly something that people have been telling me is at the very end of your match so the last like 10 minutes there's a very high possibility that there is a higher drop rate of schematics so if you want you can spend a whole game leveling up your weapons getting the
them pack a punch and then hopping into tier 3 and completing a few contracts and then maybe you will have a higher possibility of getting some really rare schematics. But the most important thing in this in my opinion is obviously the addition of these snowballs which was kind of my main point of this video but since there's so many different parts of grinding out stuff inside of tier 3 definitely make sure you do have all the stuff that I recommended. I'm just learning more and more the more that I hop inside of tier 3. It's obviously not the most difficult area if you kind of get it down and learn it off, but it can still be a bit challenging, so I will be making updated videos as much as I can just to give you a better understanding. Now, another thing that I love to mention to people and it kind of is a very very demotivating thing for people and including me it is all luck based or as I like to call it RNG. You will not 100% of the time be able to get these schematics and there's a very high possibility that you will spend entire 40 minutes being unable to get them and don't worry it isn't because they're more difficult to find for some odd reason i don't know how treyarch has done it but it is kind of almost impossible to find a schematic in a match which is insane in my opinion i've spent multiple games sometimes just running around and not even getting one schematic getting some insanely bad loot it is kind of dependent i think on the match maybe it's such a weird situation but again you will not be able to get the schematics that you might be wanting so let's say dead wire which can only be found inside of tier 2. Now I'm specifically talking about the dead wire schematic, not the acquisition. So remember, if you don't find it, one really helpful thing that I really like doing and I've recommended before and people have kind of tested it out is take a break. Don't stress yourself too much. It is down to luck. RNG as I like to call it, luck based, random generation. I don't understand why it is in the game, but then again, people have been saying it is kind of easier to potentially get these schematics. I haven't really noticed a huge difference. It feels still the exact same way, but good luck to you all. I really do mean this. It's kind of frustrating sometimes if you're a solo player to hop in, grind it out, and then let's say you die and nobody wants to revive you. That has also happened to me. I've had like many players around me and they just don't want to revive me. I don't really understand what's happening to the zombies community. Community. there's people stealing my cargo trucks everyone's a bit salty inside of tier 3 so maybe if you could team up with some people maybe your friends or maybe players inside of the discord server i think your life will be way easier because then there's multiple v running around with let's say the exact same shotgun killing zombies all around the place and hopefully unlocking those schematics because i know that there's tier 4 schematics but those are honestly almost determined to get it once you complete the easter egg and then you have the red worm which is just defeat the red worm and it is 100 percent again that you'll be getting at least one of those schematics for defeating the red worm once twice and then three times but then if we go down the line of tier three it is just this bit of challenge inside of the game that i think is much more difficult than the other ones so it is all luck based anyway i've been yapping for long enough thank you so much for watching hopefully this did help you out in some kind of way i'll probably be making another video on this later down the line i know i've been making a lot of them but you guys do enjoy them and again snowballs are really good inside the game thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe 50k here we come be sure to drop a like on the video as it does really help out and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out